because I did study it out here.
Good morning, everyone. We're just uh, just printing out some more people because I think there's some without some people, um, and you'll need them later on in the service. So if you don't have one, they're on their way. Fear not. I'll be with you in a moment. Good morning and welcome to our harvest service uh, this year. Uh, just to let you know, there will be some bits uh, where we'll be inviting you to the front. Isaac, shh. If you uh, would rather not be on camera, you need to stay behind the cameras for that bit. So parents, if you don't want your children uh, being broadcast, keep them on a... Will we, is there a route round to the offerings? We'll collect them on a slightly different side for the bit of the offering, so just to let you all know. Um, we're going to do the offering collection during the first song, so we will invite you up in just a moment to come and add here. If you don't want to be on camera, add over there and we'll collate it all. We are... Oh, final notice. Uh, we've got uh, lunch after this. Um, if you... Um, haven't RSVP'd, that's okay. I think we have excess, so you're very welcome to stay. Um, if you are a vegetarian, could you let me know sooner rather than later so I can make sure that I cook enough vegetarian food for you. The rest is all taken care of, but the veggie stuff will go on after the service. We are at uh, the first Sunday of our new uh, worship pattern. So just to let you all know, this week we're obviously all together. Next week there will be a 9am said communion before the usual two classic and contemporary services at 10. There will of course be tea and coffee provided in between that as well. I'm just going to hand over to Judith and Karen, uh, Corin, sorry, <laughs> for our opening prayer. Let us give thanks to God for the color and forms of your creation and our place within it. We bring our thanks, good Lord. For our daily food and for those whose work and skill bring your good gifts to us. We bring our thanks, good Lord. For the gifts and graces inspired in human minds and hearts, for insight and imagination. We bring our thanks, good Lord. For new hope and strength in our communities, especially in your church and among all you call to serve you, we bring our thanks, good Lord. For all in whose lives we see goodness, kindness, gentleness, patience, and humility, and all the fruit of the Spirit, we bring our thanks, good Lord. For the life we have been given and for all those whom you have given us to share it we bring our thanks good lord your mercy endures forever let's all stand together as we come to worship god in song
brought gifts in this morning for the work that Beeson in Camberley uh, does for those who are in need for whatever reason that may be. If you're uh, still watching and you've been unable to join us in person, the, we'll still be collecting throughout the week in the south porch of the church. So there is still that opportunity to give to the work of Camberley Beeson this year. But let us pray for these harvest gifts. Creator God, you made the goodness of the land, the riches of the sea and the rhythm of the season. As we thank you for the harvest, may we cherish and respect this planet and its peoples through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I'd like to please be seated. Yes, yes I am. Turns out my head's too small for this. It's not working. I've pulled it apart three times already. Anyway, good morning everyone. Uh, as you may have noticed, our service is going to look a little bit different this morning. There will be a little bit more movement at times, but there will also be times for sitting still. So there's going to be times when it's okay to get up and run around or move around. And there's also going to be times when we're going to encourage you to sit and just wait where you are and feel the presence of God. I'd like to introduce uh, some new faces to the front, perhaps. Uh, we've got a, we are growing our Worship Together team. So for anyone who doesn't know, my name is Kate, and I'm the community worker here at St. John's. And with me I have... This is Judith. Here's the mic. There we go. It will be in a minute. It will be in a minute. Can you hear me now? Yes. Oh, <laughs> even louder than expected. Hello, everyone. I'm Corin. Can you introduce yourself? Yeah, and in case you didn't hear, I'm Judith. <laughs> Fantastic. And of course, we have Jonathan, our rector, as well, leading with us. So, Harvest Festival was actually only officially adopted by the Church of England in 1862. So, in church history, it's a relatively new festival. Of course, in Jewish and Christian tradition, the harvest was celebrated, but as an official festival, it's quite a new one. And it's a fantastic opportunity to celebrate all that God has created. And it's an opportunity to remind ourselves to be good stewards of everything that God has created and to think about all that entails. This uh, offering... Uh, it's fantastic, thank you very much. It, we're going to a local charity called Beeson. Uh, they will distribute it to those who need it. And that's our other part of Harvest, is the opportunity to remember to look after other people in our world as well. Jonathan. As we gather, it is always right and good for us just to pause. And to remember those things perhaps we wish to say sorry for. Those things that may have separated us from one another and those things that have separated us from God. This morning I want to show you a couple of images. Perhaps just to help us think about how it is that we also may need to say sorry for how it is that we treat our world at times. We're in the season of creation time. We are giving thanks for all that God provides through the harvest. But there are moments when perhaps we look at creation and we forget the beauty of what it is. So this morning, can anyone, does anyone recognize the tree? I hear a few murmurs behind me almost saying mm, with a sadness in their hearts. Does anyone recognize the tree? It's not called the pizza tree. It's actually called... It was called Sycamore Gap, because that's a sycamore tree. And if you notice the wall around it, that is Adrian's Wall. It's a tree that Kate and my wife, not the other Kate, uh, and I walked past the other year as we actually walked along Adrian's Wall. 
But you may have seen the news. It doesn't look like that anymore. It looks like that. And as we look at the image, I want you to hold on to how you feel about what you've seen. Of what was and what it now is. Yes, it's a tree that sadly has been cut down, inefficient. We may say wantonly, willingly, and destroyed. But the truth is, there are thousands, if not millions, of trees around our world that are daily cut down, wantingly and willingly destroyed. So this morning, as we think of the harvest, as we think of creation, I want us to pause and to consider what it is that we may need to say sorry for. And to use this opportunity to plant new seeds. Seeds of hope, of love. Seeds that will speak of us growing together as community. That will take care not only of each other, but also of our world. All that was and all that is. Let us pray to God. We confess to you, O Lord, our lack of care for the world you have given us. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. We confess to you our selfishness in not sharing the earth's bounty fairly. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. We confess to you our failure to protect resources for others. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. I invite you to stand as we come and declare our faith in God. Will you please stand? And so we say together, we believe and trust in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe and trust in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe and trust in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe and trust in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. And so we remain standing as we sing that wonderful harvest song. We plough the fields and scatter. <coughs>
If you'd like to please be seated for our first reading. The first reading this morning is from Ephesians chapter 4 and verses 15 and 16. Instead, speaking the truth in love, we will grow to become in every respect the mature body of him who is the head, that is, Christ. From him, the whole body, joined and held together by every supporting ligament, grows and builds itself up in love as each part does its work. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We are going to conduct a little exercise this morning. Now, children, can you all see, well, in fact, can everybody see my table? If you want to see better, you could come and sit at the front down here. Adults as well, if you really want to. (laughs) Can anybody tell me what these are? Beans. Beans? Do you think beans? Does everybody agree? They look like beans they're seeds what do you think benji seeds they are seeds you're right behind me they are beans he got a close-up look at home this morning so we're going to plant our beans this morning it feels like a good harvest activity so what do i need to plant beans can everybody anyone give me a soil we've had soil right i've got some soil i'm going to use cups for my beans right Put some soil in here. I'll put some soil in here, and that's a bit messy, so I'm not, I'm not going to put it in the next cup because it's a bit muddy. So let's pop the beans in here. Now, what do I need next? Water. Benji, what do you think I need? Water. Okay, we'll put some water in. So we'll put that in here. Lots of nice water in that one. Put it in here. Oh, that's a bit muddy. I'm not going to put it in the last one. Actually, this one looks a bit cold now, so I'm going to cover it up, keep it nice and warm. There we go. They're all planted. Do we think they're going to grow? They're going to grow into nice big beans, aren't they? (laughs) Well, these, these have got sunlight, so these ones will grow then. Is that right? No. Okay, hands up. Who thinks these are going to grow into beans? Who doesn't think they're going to grow very well at all? Some unanimous there. You're right. These beans aren't really going to grow, are they? Because they don't have all the elements that they need to grow. Now, they will grow a little bit. They'll probably spout a bit here and spout a bit there and maybe grow a little bit, but they're not going to reach their full potential. And church is a little bit the same. You need all the elements and all the parts working to grow properly. Last week in SJB Kids, we spent some time talking about how we are all important. You can see the younger groups did some acorn handprints, and the older group um, made uh, work together to make a Lego church. I think there'll be a picture of their architectural wonder up on the screen in a moment. Now their key elements, you can tell maybe it was an all-boy group, was an altar, a tower, and a toilet. That's what we needed in our church, which to be fair, all useful things. But the point of the activity wasn't really to make a beautiful, structurally sound church. The point of the activity (laughs) was to work together, to work collaboratively to achieve something. And they did a really good job doing that. 
<coughs> because every child in that session and every child here and every adult today is an important and essential part of our church. You are an important and essential part of our church. Our harvest service today marks us moving into a new season, not just October and autumn, but a new season in the life of St. John's. As we mentioned briefly at the beginning, today is the first Sunday in our new worship pattern. And entering a new season can be hard because it means that there might be some change. But a new season can also mean growth and it's important to grow together or you end up wonky. God has created all of us to be unique. There is only one you. Each and every one of us has a unique role and shape that we fit into. As our reading said, we are a part of the body of Christ and we should be joined and knitted together. So today we want to make sure that not only are we celebrating and thanking God for all of the things he has created, but also for creating us and planting us here. On the way in today, you should have been given a person outline. Has everybody got one now? Joyfully, there were a few more of you than we had printed initially. We will make sure some come round so that everybody gets one. Uh, there should also be some pencils on your pew distributed. I think some of the child ones might have been stolen, but the rest of you should have some. We would like you to write your name on your person. Feel free to personalise it more. If you want to add some hair or clothes, you're very welcome to. This person represents you. And when you come up for communion in a moment, or at another point in the service, or even as you go out today, we would like to invite you to come and leave your person at the foot of our tree. We want to represent our whole community, our whole church body together. In a moment, we are going to share the peace with one another. And this part of the service exists to publicly recognise that we are one community, one foundation. It's not just there to give us a chance to say hello to our friends, but also uh, to remind us that part of being a church together means accepting that sometimes we get things wrong. This part of our service is our opportunity to make peace with one another, to remember that Jesus has called us to look beyond our day-to-day -day issues and to focus on God's bigger plan, to forgive and move on to love one another. As a part of sharing the peace to together today, we are going to use a song, we're going to use some musical worship in that piece, to help remind us that we are one big family of God together. The harvest of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. So let us share with one another the abundance of the harvest gifts. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. We can greet one another with a sign near us as a sign of God's peace and presence among us. And then we're going to stand and sing big family of God. If anyone would like to come and join me to do the actions, Judith, I'm hoping you will, and maybe Corinne, because I'm a little bit rusty. Um, so let's stand together as we show one another the sign of the peace through me.
to uh, please be seated as we take our second reading. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The workers are few. Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and healing every disease and illness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them because they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. We're going to pick up on those final words of Jesus. Therefore, Jesus says, pray to the Lord of the harvest. And it's right that we do that not only for the care and protection of our world, to actually cry out to God for those who find themselves in a place where they can't cry out for themselves because of all that's going on in and through their lives. But it's also right and good for us to pray for us as a church. And we want you to join us in that today. So in a moment or two, you're going to get a selection of leaves coming out to you. And it's an opportunity for you to write a prayer could be a simple prayer of thanksgiving. Thank you, God, for the joy and the beauty of the world. It may be thank you, God, for the people around me. It may be thank you, God, for whatever it is you want to thank God for today. You may want to cry out to God on behalf of others, the situations around our world. It may be crying out to God that we can take better care of our creation, the gifts that God has given us. It may be we want to pray for other people in other nations. Those who don't have all that we have. There's an opportunity for you to write a prayer on a leaf. Now the reason it's on a leaf is because you may notice our tree over here, yes, it's nice and green at the back, but it's a bit bare at the front. And we want to put our prayers onto our tree. So when you come forward, if you so wish to come forward with your prayers, There would be different ribbons of uh, of wool. All you need to do, there's a hole in the leaf. You need to just push the knot through. And as it goes through, if you just push one end through the other end of the loop, you end up with a loop like that. It's nice and easy. We'll be here to help. And then we just need to, and we'll help you to do this bit. Because there's lower branches and upper branches. And we just need to start adding our prayers to our tree. So the leaves will come out to you and there'll be said prayers for us to sit and listen to with moments between each of them so we can just pause, still our hearts and minds as we come and pray to God. Let us come and say our prayers. just break it. Let us pray. Let us pray to God, the Lord of the harvest, that all that he desires for his creation will happen. Lord of creation, we see that the fields are ripe for harvesting. We pray for your church, that it may be ready to gather fruit for eternal life. Lord of the harvest, in your mercy, Hear us. You have created the universe by your eternal word and have blessed humankind in giving us power over the earth. We pray for the world that we may honour and share its resources and live in reverence for the creation and in harmony with one another. Lord of the harvest, 
in your mercy hear us. Your Son has promised that the Spirit will lead us into all truth. We pray for the community in which you have set us, for one another and for ourselves, that we may bring forth the fruit of the Spirit in love and joy and peace. Lord of the harvest, in your mercy hear us. You have given your people a rich land, yet by sin we have made a world of suffering and sorrow. We pray for those who bear the weight of affliction, that they may come to share the life of wholeness and plenty. Lord of the harvest, in your mercy hear us. Your Son, Jesus Christ, is the first fruits of the resurrection and will reap the harvest of the dead at the end of time. We pray that he will gather us all together with those who have gone before in the banquet of the age to come. Lord of the harvest, in your in mercy, mercy, hear us. source of all life and giver of all that is good hear our prayers and grant us all that is in accordance with your will through jesus christ our lord amen there are more leaves coming out to those who maybe have not received them but as we stand to sing our next song which is O lord my god Please, if you've written prayers and want to come and hang them on the tree, there's an opportunity to do so. There'll be an opportunity again at the end of our service to decorate our tree with our prayers this day. But let us stand as we come to sing, O Lord, my God, when I in autumn wonder, consider all the works thy hand has made.
God is with us. We are not alone. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. On the night he was betrayed, Jesus had a meal with his friends. He took a loaf of bread. And after giving thanks to God, he broke it and gave it to his disciples. He said, take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper, Jesus took the cup of wine. And after giving thanks, he gave it to them and said, drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Whenever you drink this, remember me. In Jesus, God has provided all we need for each day. His words comfort the weary. His actions challenge the contented. His touch heals the sick. His presence feeds the deepest hunger in our souls. As our Saviour taught us. So we pray. Let's sit all now. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Come to the table of Jesus, our Redeemer. Jesus invites you here to be part of the people of God. Come to the table humbly, not because you have earned a place here, but because you need mercy and help. Come because God loves you and because you love God and want to love God more. Come because Jesus first loved us and gave himself for us. Come because you want to be part or filled with the Holy Spirit. Come because you want to experience the mystery of God's grace. God, we come to you, remembering and giving thanks for your Son. Bless and pour your spirit on us as we receive these simple things, bread and wine. Nourish us, revive and strengthen us as we come to your table. Amen. All who know and love the Lord Jesus are welcomed at his table. It is your tradition to just come for a prayer of blessing. We invite you still to come. And as you do so, just to simply cross yourself with your arms so I know exactly what it is that you need from us today. But let us come, for this is Jesus' invitation to us all.
Let us pray. We have come to the Lord's table. We have eaten the bread of heaven. And together, Lord of the harvest, with joy we are offered thanksgiving for your love in creation and have shared in the bread and the wine of the kingdom. By your grace, plant us with a reverence for all that you give us and make us generous and wise stewards of the good things we enjoy through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So let us stand as we come to sing our final hymn, You Shall Go Out With Joy. Just a reminder that tea, coffee, refreshments are served. And if you've already signed up for lunch, we'll see you later. If you haven't and you're able to stay with us, you are more than welcome to do so. But let us stand as we join our voices together in this song of praise. You shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. Freely you have received, freely give. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ, amen. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you now and always. Amen.